the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I welcome you all to the Thursday of the 18th week in Ordinary Time, Year A. It is the Feast of the Transfiguration of the Lord. With our first reading from the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verses 9 to 10, 13 to 14. Our responsorial psalm is from the Psalm 97. Our second reading is from the second letter of St. Peter, chapter 1, verses 16 to 19. And the Gospel reading is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 17, verses 1 to 9. The theme of today's reflection is titled, Make the Choice to Listen to Christ. The Transfiguration event is one of the beautiful and glorious events in the life of Jesus while he was on earth, wherein he took three of his disciples, Peter, James and John, to the mountain, a place he was transfigured and radiated gloriously before them. The Transfiguration event will be well appreciated if consideration is given to what happened before they took that journey to the mountain, as recorded in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 16. Jesus had asked his disciples about who people thought he was. We hear him ask, who do people say the Son of Man is? And the disciples had presented various conceptions that the people had of him. Some said he was John the Baptist, others said he was Elijah, some others said he was Jeremiah or one of the prophets. And Jesus then places the same question before his disciples, who do you say I am? And Peter responded, you are the Christ the son of the living God. Well, while Peter was perfectly right, he wasn't comfortable at some point with the subsequent statement of Jesus because Jesus was beginning to make it clear to them that he was destined to go to Jerusalem and suffer grievously at the hands of the elders, the chief priests and the scribes and be put to death even though he would be raised up on the third day. Peter was not comfortable with all of this and Peter had to rebuke Jesus that such will not happen to him. Unfortunately, Jesus had to shun him and even teach further that anyone who wants to be his follower must join him on the way of the cross. Such person must renounce himself, take up his cross and follow him. Six days after, Jesus took Peter, James and John to the mountain as the Gospel reading tells us. The mountain represents the place of revelation a place where God reveals himself. The book of Exodus records various instances where God reveals himself to Moses on the mountain. And so the, the transfiguration event was also another encounter where God revealed himself. Jesus was transfigured, his face shone brightly like the sun, and his clothes became as dazzling as light. At that same time, Moses and Elijah appeared to him and were talking to him. Hey. The joy was much, the glory was immense. The disciples could not believe their eyes and Peter had to speak up. It is wonderful for us to be here. If you want me to, I will make three tents, one for you, one for Moses and one for Elijah. Peter was not even thinking of making a tent for himself but for the other two disciples. He just wanted to remain in this glorious moment. The joy was indeed immense and that reminds me of the words of the psalmist in Psalm 16 verse 11 that in the presence of the Lord there is fullness of joy. Peter was still speaking when the bright cloud covered them. The cloud symbolizes the Shekinah which is a sign of God's presence himself. And there came a voice from the cloud which said this is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. My dear brothers and sisters God himself affirmed that Jesus is a son and he says to one of us listen to him. If Peter, James and John and indeed all of us want to enjoy the fullness of the glory that the disciples experienced at the transfiguration, then we must listen to Jesus. We must listen to his teachings about the cross and follow him. The world today is filled with so many voices that claim to be the voice of Christ. The voices that reject the teaching of Christ about the cross. The voices that promote the reign of the flesh the voices that promote the reign of pleasure without any reference to the afterlife do not be deceived the kind of joy that the world offers is fleeting and fades off quickly but the joy of god's kingdom is eternal and the only way that leads truly to this glorious state of god's kingdom is the way of the cross let us therefore make a choice today to listen to christ and not to the world 
so that we too can also enjoy the fullness of joy and every good gift in God's kingdom. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.